hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about user authentications so guys which means we are going to create a login and registration page in laravel 8 version so guys now let's get started with it so first let's move to our editor and guys let's open a terminal to create a login and registration user authentication things so let's type composer require laravel forward slash ui okay and hit enter so let's wait for the installation okay perfect so guys it's installed now and now let us give the command to generate the scaffoldings so php artisan ui we are going to use bootstrap hyphen auth double hyphen we have to give minus minus auth and hit enter so scaffolding installed successfully so now let us check over here before that let's refresh resource views over here you can see auth folder and inside our layouts there is one app blade file okay so it's perfectly installed now guys let us close this terminal so guys now let's check that it is installed or not so for that before checking you need to go to routes web.php you will find two new routes created by default when you install that scaffoldings of your authentication so now what is there in this auth routes it's nothing but login register password reset so many links are available so it's now to check that you need to go to your um, inside layouts let's go to app over here okay let's move below you can see the routes which is has login register if it's already logged in then you have these things so let's copy this link called login and give forward slash and paste enter so you can see this the output has come but there is no css so guys now let's link our layout so let's link this layout into our auth files so let's go to our login and link our uh, extend our front end app so copy this and paste for the register also paste for verify paste and now let's move inside this password confirm password paste over here for this email also let's paste in all the files wherever you are extended the layouts called fronted so now let's close this files guys and let's see the output once again refresh you can find this output cool so let's move to register so you can see the register file perfect so now let's link that in this navbar like login or registration or logout so need to go to our path called layouts inside that app play.php file so let's copy this from the guest and end guest copy and paste inside our navbar so inside our inc folder we created the navbar simple navbar let's add that over here paste that's it save and let's refresh you can see login and register option has come login register so first let us register let's hit enter with prakash email with at gmail dot com password one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine now click to register perfect so guys it's redirected to home and now mm, let's go back to home page so you can see that inside resource views you can see that home is called over here so let's extend that front end save let's refresh perfect so you are logged in and you are shown as with prakash over here so guys this drop down is not working because it's 
bootstrap 4 version okay so for that you need to update that drop down now let us go and get the updated bootstrap 5 drop down okay so let's go back let's type get bootstrap.com click on docs and search for navbar inside that navbar we will get one drop down okay so we can see here so let's copy this drop down so let's copy this and paste over here so let's paste that below so without any confusion we will create this as simple guys let's take this Control x and paste on this drop down and then as simple let's keep this in one line here and let's take this this is your href tag as simple let's bring this list down and on this href we have to paste it so let's replace that paste simple and after this a tag I want the form so let's get this form control X and paste here as simple and these are the other drop down links which is called as my profile and other things okay my profile my account so let's keep this menus at the top save and now let us remove this older one so let's take this logout thing and paste on this action save and remove this control X save and now let's refresh and see guys refresh let's click on this drop down cool my profile my account and logout option has come so guys let's click on logout perfect so it's logged out and now let us try to log in once again with at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine let's click on login cool so guys we have successfully completed login and registration system in laravel 8 so guys now let's continue next video about setting up the profile and posting a uh, blocks so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share